started the fire. Yes, the fire rises. Calm down, Doctor. Now is not the time for fear. That comes later. Rise. Yes, it's uh, Owen's doing the veteran call-in for his, for his show today. Since my opinion is way too long to be put on the phone, I'm just going to do my episode on what I would say on the phone when I call in Owen. Because clearly, uh, people are living in a fake reality. have no idea what's going on. Alright, even if we were to tell stories of veterans and stuff like that, let's think about this for a second. On top of all that, you have all these Vietnam veterans who have literally watched their buddies rot to death before their eyes while traveling from one place to another. Not to mention all the IEDs, not to mention all the Agent Orange and everything, not to mention everything, like, let's be for real. I don't care, this may hurt some people's opinions or feelings or whatever, I don't care. The only thing that our military's ever had to deal with are IEDs. So what? That's nothing compared to what other... This is what I'm talking about when I say our military mindset isn't ready. You know what I want to hear? I want to hear uh, other military veterans talk about the corruption within the military. I want to hear them talk about how those leaders hold people back on purpose and promote those who only suck the hardest and promote those who only do thy bidding on the most evil levels, truly despicable human beings. We should hear some of those stories. Forget the battle stories. That stuff is boring. Most of these people don't even... Like I said, they were just... Just incredible. You would never know unless you're there. And like I said, I don't want to hear any IED stories or anything. God dumb. Go ask all the other wars that real men actually fought or whatever. And they will laugh at you about IEDs and that's it. Truly incredible. Just like how people don't even understand how our government works. Like, I would ask Owen, too, on top of this. Like, do you even understand how our government works? Like, I know you used to be in sports. He admitted he used to be in sports. So do you even know, like, how our political system works? Because the way you talk, you know, uh, you make it seem like Trump's going to be president forever. You know, all you do is just cheerlead Trump. What does that accomplish, just cheerleading Trump? Just like cheerleading Jim Jordan here. People are going to be cheerleading Jim Jordan. I'm just waiting for the moment for uh, Owen to start cheerleading Jim Jordan, even though there is no faith whatsoever that I'm going to let you in a little inside baseball why I say, does Owen even know our political system? Because if anyone even understood our political system right now, you would realize that as long as Paul Ryan is still there, nothing in this reality is going to change. Because you need the Speaker of the House to move any of this garbage that people are contemplating. Why do you think they're trying to get Jim Jordan in there? But, like I said, I don't believe. Because, look, he still takes money from the PACs. He still takes money from the globalists. He still takes money from special interests, despite what anybody wants to say about him. Alright, these are basic facts, so let's lose the Sunshine Patriot Act of... The imaginary red wave is coming and acting like they're not doing everything and anything they can to make sure they withhold all this power that they have illegally stolen. So let's uh, ground ourselves in reality for a second. Look at this. Even though it's not a lot of money, he's still sold out. We cannot ignore this fact that as long as this can candidate self-financing is a big fat zero, he will always be suspect. It should be treated as such. We should stop with the cheerleading of just retarded Republican conservative garbage. We really need to change the paradigm. Like I said, if you actually understood how our political system works, I mean, it's not bad if you don't understand. This is why research and everything is important. This is why actually getting to know the government system is important. You'll see that why Paul Ryan and Rosenstein are in the same Google search makes perfect sense. Because they're holding up the reality. Just like you've seen all those articles. Oh, they put articles to go impeach Rosenstein, like I mentioned in my last video. Only 11 out of 435. How does that sound? Yeah, how does that sound when you hear that now? Out of, uh, now you need a majority. So you need about 230 of those. Minus, ele you know, minus the 11 that you already got that submitted it. Why didn't more submit it? You know, it would have more weight. 
if a hundred people got together and submitted this proposal instead of 11 you understand like so if you really understand that's how it should have been done for it to be taken so when you see something like 11 and Paul Ryan, even if you were to get somehow the majority of Paul Ryan needs to act on it too, you understand how they're literally holding up the paradigm, holding up the reality until the next speaker election. That's why Ryan, Mr. I would never wanted this job, has a step down. You understand how they're controlling reality now. This is one of the most basic breakdowns of the system that I can give you for free right now. Anyway, let's continue. Yes, welcome to another exciting episode of Media Hunter. Yes, I brought you the biggest scam ever to be revealed. It's a quite new discovery for us that the Earth can turn so cold so fast. The problem is, could that happen again to us right now? Or could we accidentally provoke such a catastrophe? Unless we learn otherwise... It will be prudent to suppose that the next ice age could begin to bite at any time. In the 1970s, there was a big scare about global cooling. Climate experts were worried that we might be headed towards a new global ice age. Time magazine reported in 1974 that, quote, the atmosphere has been growing gradually cooler for the past three decades. The trend shows no indication of reversing. And Newsweek warned ominously that the cooling trend could lead to a drastic decline in food production, resulting in widespread starvation. According to Old Norse folklore, a summer that isn't summer at all, when the snow fails to melt, will signal the end of the world. Well, the new discovery suggests that this myth is substantially correct. Just like the Antarctic scam, I can back up what I was saying earlier, because remember, what have you heard about? Remember Agent Orange? No? Oh, remember, they tried to do the same thing with Afghanistan, Iraq vets and everything. You know, with the burn pits. Notice how you don't hear anything about the burn pits. Notice how they got to debate the burn pit uh, discussion in the shadows. Even Why is there even a burn pit? Let me ask you something. If you were living next to a, a something where they were burning poop, metal, garbage, you know, anything and everything, and you were living next to that, and you were just breathing in that smoke for, constantly for a year, do you think that's hazardous to your health? Yeah, that's why well, this is the level of retardation that people are even dealing with. This is what we're talking. We're debating whether or not that's even hazardous to your health, and veterans should get compensation for that. Just think about that for a second while you get all upset about what I said earlier. Now, remember the big global warming lie. Yes, yes. Remember they said it was going to cool down. It was going to get cold, cold, cold. Remember this ancient Bubble City comic in Antarctica. Remember, what better way to control the populace than to lie to them and say it was getting colder? You were trying to manipulate the weather into such that it was going to get colder, but no one can manipulate. Like, you know, the hubris thinking you're God, that you're going to control this planet. Get the hell out of here. So they realized that that planet failed. So now... Knowing, because, you know, if it's really, really cold, you want to live in an environment like this, like, oh, it's kept perpetually warm, you know, look at this environment, everything's all nice, you know, you're kept free, you're kept safe, right, that's what they want to say, that's the illusion. Well, that didn't work, so now we got to go global warming, climate change, remember? So, you know, it's our fault that the planet didn't get colder, we didn't all freeze to death, we all didn't have to get forced into bubble cities for Agenda 2032 at the UN. Maybe this is what their original plan was this whole time. If you really think about it, it makes perfect sense. Because what better way to convince people to live in a giant bubble city than an impending ice age of doom is coming, and the only way to survive is to uh, live in a bubble city, you know, where there's shelter, and there's heat, and there's warmth, and there's everything, and everything, you know, but up. Oh, you know, like I said, you can't be God, humorous, all that jazz. So instead, now technology's advancing everything. Oh, 5G. Smart cities now, bubble smart cities. Now, you know, since since now we can ditch the whole the Ice Age thing is never coming. Now we can just blanket the whole thing as like, you know, climate change, whatever that means. You know, like I said, liberals like to play that whole word game and everything. Throw whatever definitions behind whatever they want it to mean. Truly incredible. So now we bring in smart cities. 5G network. Now we can control the populace because we were throwing all them smartphones, iPads, you know, little bits of technology piece by piece at them to get them hooked on it. You know, like a drug, like, ooh, a piece of candy, ooh, a piece of candy, ooh, a piece of candy, and then eventually the box gets you. Yes, yes, yeah, to think about. Even James Woods questioned why he was, uh, even did that episode and why people even find that funny. And now if you really think about it on a massive level like that, just think about, like, the cell phones, the technology, you know, all the spying device. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. 
and eventually it gets you. Just like most people don't even know that back in the 9-11 Commission report, they even blatantly admit that they have control of Congress and they push whatever needed bills that they need to get all this illegal spying on Americans passed. Anything and everything, like just blatant admittance right here that Congress isn't the will of the people, that the shadow government blatantly controls what they can and can't do. And if you go back to the memo to LBJ that was in the JFK release last year, you see them that blatantly say whether or not that Congress has a legitimate need to know. So they were already question way back in the past cutting Congress out and everything. And if you think about what you see right now, like when they strategically implant their pieces, like that's what Paul Ryan is. He's a strategic piece in an important role to halt the system because you need the speaker to get things out. You know, they know this. Most Republican conservatives, like I said, don't even know how this system, this political system works. You see how they keep the blanket of misinformation, the mist of misinformation over everyone's eyes because they blind them to this. Imagine if Tory News was reporting instead that 11 out of 435 House representatives pushed forward a bill to impeach Rosenstein. You don't think that would get the uh, public up more of an amass than, yeah, the, uh, the GOP, they're pushing articles of impeachment, just like a dopamine hit. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, everyone's cheering. You go get him. You go get him, Jim Jordan. You go get him, De- Devin Nunes. You go get You see? You see how it works on this movie? Like I said, this is just the most big. Ba- I'm not even on brain force today either. Imagine if I took two pills of brain force, truly. I can literally see the future. I'm not even kidding. If I take two pills of brain force, that's why I stopped taking two pills of brain force because you should see the visions that I've seen. Why do you think I'm warning everybody about all this? This isn't a game. Like I said, they're masters of the reality. Once you put just one simple piece like Paul Ryan in there, guess what? You can halt reality, like I've been saying, up until the November elections. Think about that. Nothing, you can bet on it, nothing's going to get done until then as long as Paul Ryan's there. Just like I said, 435. You can't even get a hand, like what, 40 minds who think from their cells out of 430. Think about this for a second, you know, like... If you really step back and you look at the big picture, you'll see why reality sucks, why nothing's getting done, why we need to start waking people up on a real level instead of this meme, garbage, red pill trash. We really need to start giving people intelligence, not meme intelligence, as I want to call it. You know, guard physically guard yourself against physically retarding memes because, like, literally people are spilling this red pill meme trash into reality. That's not intelligence. That's not enlightenment. That's not really freeing yourself from any system. You're just perpetuating the enslavement under the guise that you're free. Seriously, they're acting like... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Cyrax and Matrix, where he just betrays everyone and he wants to go back. He's like, they can't put you back. Duh, that's the point. They can't put you back. Hello, we need to reclaim what was stolen. Why do you think I said it was stolen? Hello, they're ruling over us under an invisibility guy because the system is broken. Unlike what Lionel wants to believe, that the system works. Get the hell out of here. Even I can see all the pieces are compromised. Quick thought.